वेलकम टू अनादर अनलिमिटेड कॉफ़ी ब्लॉग सो लाइक एवरी टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू एन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बर्थडे और आज हम लोग जिस जगह पे आ रहे हैं वहाँ पे जैपनीज हैं इंडियन है और भी कई तरह के कॉन्टीनेंटल फूड अवेलेबल है तो आज हम लोग वो सब कुछ ट्राई करने वाले हैं बट इम्पोर्टेंटली वेज है इसका कारण है कि आप सबको पता है अभी श्रावण शुरू है तो और आप सबको लगता होगा कि वेज में क्या मिलेगा ज़्यादा वरिटी लेकिन इस प्लेस में वेज फूड की इतनी वैरायटी है ना कि नॉन वेज की याद भी नहीं आएगी इट इज़ अमेजिंग सो वी आर रियली एक्साइटेड रेनबो एक्सक्लूसिवली वेज is located in the Fortune Park Lake City in Thane which is right next to the Viviana Mall this restaurant comes under the ITC's hotel groups the ambiance is beautiful classy and refreshing it's rupees 550 plus taxes for lunch and dinner both monday to friday and rupees 800 plus taxes on saturdays and sundays and the variety of vegetarian cuisine that you will enjoy here is simply amazing this unlimited buffet includes delectable starters a sorted collection of breads priams live counter pasta and pizzas sushi some delicious indian gravies continental main courses like chinese noodles middle eastern food soups desserts and a huge variety of salads let's begin with the starters which includes both indian and continental dishes starting with stir fried gobi manchurian which is sorted in some chinese style sauce here are some dal vadas these are italian breads stuffed with some tomato and cheese The gobi manchurian was deep fried in some corn starch batter and then it was tossed in some beautiful chinese sauce. It had a beautiful balance of sweet, spicy and tangy flavors. The deep fried corn starch batter had made the covering crispy and chewy at the same time. These dahi chole kebab were my favorite from the starter section. They were so tender and soft in texture. They were very delicately made and they literally melted in mouth. The ginger garlic flavor completely complemented the paneer. These are the Italian dough balls stuffed with some cheese and tomatoes and seasoned with Italian herbs and spices. The quality and variety of breads that they serve here is simply astounding. and we totally recommend you guys to explore their bread section the breads are freshly made the dough balls were perfectly cooked from inside the starters here are not served on the table you have to get them on your own These are the dal vadas. The starter section includes a wide variety of chutneys that you can have with different kinds of starters. There is some coconut chutney, mint and chili one, Szechuan sauce, tomato based chutney and few other chili sauces. The dal vadas were cooked perfectly. They had some bits of crunchy chana dal. and they tasted really well with the coconut based chutney here is some spicy masala chana and a sweet potato starter The 
boiled chana was sauteed and seasoned with a lot of Indian spices and garnished with some coriander. So that was about the starter section. Now let's move on to the main courses. The main course section was simply amazing with so much variety. It included both Indian and continental dishes. There is literally everything that you could ask for. Starting with the bread section which has so many different varieties of breads. The breads were so beautifully baked and designed. They were of different shapes and sizes and topped with different things like black and white sesame seeds, couscous seeds and some garnished with rosemary. There is a chopping board where you can select a piece of bread that you want and cut it into slices and have as much as you wish to. In the Indian gravy section, they served some shahi paneer which looked so tempting. Here is some Malai mushroom gravy. This is Lasuni Buna Palak and it had such a beautiful aroma. This is the first ever vegetarian buffet where I found some karele ki sabzi. It looked amazing. And here is some dal tadka. Love how this unlimited buffet has both rich and creamy dishes as well as simple ones. Here is some shahi paneer. The gravy looks so rich. The slab of paneer was quite big in size and it was so moist and tender. It was beautifully marinated with garlic and ginger. The gravy had a smooth and velvety texture and it was going perfectly with the paneer. The Lasuni Buna Palak had a strong flavour of garlic and it was cooked in a simple home style manner. The Kareli Ki Sabzi had a perfect balance of sweet and tangy flavours which was complementing the bitter taste. The fried curry leaves and mustard seeds gave it a very zingy taste. This is soya kale steak with cheese sauce. This was my favorite from the continental main course section. Here is some tofu in Chinese style gravy and green Thai curry with vegetables. Steamed rice and some oriental stir fried vegetables, Hakka noodles and Shezwan fried rice. The tofu that is bean curd gravy had a beautiful gingery aroma. Looks similar to paneer but has a very different texture. 
Even the taste is different from paneer as this one is made from soy milk. The spicy Chinese style gravy was going really well with the subtle and sour tofu. The soya and kale steak with cheese sauce looked very tempting. The tikki was made from finely chopped kale leaves and some soya granules. The kale was tasting very similar to spinach and it was going really well with the cheese sauce. The green Thai curry was fine. It had a very subtle flavor. I tried some of their breads and they were baked to perfection. They not only looked delicious but tasted the same. Absolutely soft, spongy and buttery. This place had a canapé section as well. Small pieces of bread are topped with some vegetables and mayonnaise. It's like you are having a tiny bite of some sandwich. Loved the vegetarian sushi section. There were five different kinds of sushis served with all the required elements like soy sauce, wasabi vinegar and edamame beans. All of these are typical Japanese items which are consumed with sushi in a very small amount but they tend to add a very strong flavor. The center of any sushi is mainly a fish or meat. The fish is replaced with fruits and vegetables. But having tried these sushi myself, I would tell that these taste equally great. They have the authentic Japanese flavor. So I dipped the first sushi in some soy sauce. This one had a layer of yellow cheese above it. The Japanese rice was cooked perfectly. The soy sauce adds some saltiness to the refreshing sushi. You have to eat a sushi entirely to get all the flavors at the same time. And I totally love these vegetarian sushi. The salad section in this buffet is the most versatile one I have ever seen. It has the perfect combination of different vegetables tossed in lovely oils and dressings. The salad section was very colourful and totally complementing the name of this restaurant. And both foodies and health freaks will love the salad section equally.
I tried some of the salads like this one with cucumber and another one with some purple cabbage and yellow bell peppers. This yellow creamy mousse salad topped with some parsley was my favorite. It was mashed pumpkin served with some cheese. It was slightly sweet in taste. I totally loved the milkiness and its refreshing flavor. The strips of cucumber were tossed in some olive oil and spices. They had some Indian salads like raita as well. There was unlimited Middle Eastern hummus and pita bread which was totally amazing. There were two different kinds of pita breads and the hummus was topped with some lovely olive oil and some spicy powder. The hummus had a smooth and velvety texture and the lemon squeezed over them was going really well with the flavor of the chickpeas. Both the pita breads were soft, fluffy and airy. The pita breads were so light that you can have many of them. No, the food doesn't end here. There is still a lot more. So we also have a live counter section where we get unlimited pasta and pizzas. We ordered some mixed sauce pasta. delicious the sauce was rich and creamy the pasta could have been cooked a little more there was chart section which had so many unique dishes here is some samosa chart some fruit chart which included cubes of fruits topped in some chaat masala that you can enjoy with some save There was some spicy looking paneer chaat. Here is some gobi chaat topped with some finely chopped onions, tomatoes and coriander. They served three different kinds of soups, one of which was this Vietnamese style noodle soup. In the rice section there was veg dum biryani as well. Here are different kinds of fryams like papad. We had some of them and they were super crunchy and crispy. 
You also get to choose from a lot of pickles. This buffet proves that vegetarian food is not just paneer, potatoes or some greens. There is so much more. This buffet is literally a rainbow for both your eyes and your taste buds. Now let's move on to the dessert section. There are both Indian and continental varieties. There are some French pastries and cakes, some Bengali sweets. There is kheer, chocolates and mousse as well. All these desserts are beautifully presented. This one is the pista flavored pastry. A Bengali sweet topped with some fresh cream and jam. A rose flavored Swiss roll. A crunchy chocolate dessert. Some vermicelli kheer. And a cheesecake. Among the desserts, my favorite one was the rose flavored Swiss roll. On the outside was some fresh rose cream and the inside had a chocolate roll. It had a lovely fragrant rose flavor and it was very refreshing. The pista cake had a very light and airy texture and it had the perfect balance of cake and cream. The buffet has a separate dessert section for kids and it included their signature rainbow pastry. The coffee panna cotta had a beautiful wobbly and chewy texture. It had a strong coffee flavor and the bitterness was complementing with the sweet. The crunchy chocolate dessert tasted very similar to a Ferrero Rocher. Overall, we absolutely loved the dessert section. So guys, that was it about this beautiful vegetarian unlimited buffet. We hope you loved this video and if you did, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification. This is an amazing place. It was so variety that we had a lot of time to film for the film. But we enjoyed it thoroughly and we should if definitely come If you are vegetarian, you should definitely come this over here. This is paradise for vegetarians. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, stay tuned and keep watching us. We'll meet you in next vlog. Till then, bye-bye. Do taste the wasabi in very tiny quantity as it is very pungent.